is the uh, last bed on this side of the allotment and uh, it's been dug over. Tony's manuring it. Plenty of manure, the soil is awful. Disgusting. There's also lots of roots from uh, this cherry tree just behind me, which are uh, going to kill eventually. Slowly, slowly. Anyway, let's have a look elsewhere. So I've got a couple of uh, buckets of carrots. Um, Autumn King. And over there, some sweet candle. Now, the potatoes. Some of the uh, sarpomera haven't come up at all. And um, I put it down to the quality of the seed potatoes I got, which were absolutely bloody awful. So what I've got here is at the back. And these three here. I've put in some uh, rooster. I've uh, been on holiday and uh, my boys I think have been living on oven chips they didn't bother peeling a potato so they all sprouted I had a few spare buckets so uh, brought them down put them in so these are the uh, sharpos, sarpos, whatever and then look over here the rest of the potatoes are doing absolutely fantastic Got a bit of a collapse in the middle there. Yeah, it's doing really well. Um, I picked off the uh, the flowers from the ones that I could reach. Um, I can't get down the back. I can't get around the other side of them. So uh, I've just done what I could. My tomatoes, lamentable really, um, they're really not doing well, although the uh, new shoots at the top are reasonably green but look at this lot down below, they look awful. The onions, well, having a little bit of a late spurt, um, they haven't done well. Um, I don't know why, but we always said that uh, this year the uh, the wood chip growing, you know, the back to Eden method was going to be an experiment. Um, the um, the soil beneath them that we planted the uh, onions into is is really bad, really poor. Um, it's clay and it's very, very wet. And this weather that we've had hasn't really helped very much. Um, in fact, when I, when I was planting in the, uh, in the brassica cage there, uh, one of the things I noticed was that uh, when I was digging down through the wood chips to get to the soil, um, there was a sort of a smell of stagnant water, um, which just goes to show how, how there's such a lack of oxygen because the uh, soil is so compressed. So these tomatoes aren't doing very well either. The um, sweet corn, it's okay, it's a bit yellow. Um, again, could be a nutrient de deficiency. I I'm actually confident that next year, once the, um, once the uh, wood chips have uh, rotted down at the soil surface, and I put some more up that, um, the growing conditions will improve. However, what I am going to do is I am going to put raised beds in. Um, the, the soil is so poor. You know, everybody suggested it, and I think it's absolutely right. Um, I'm going to build up the soil with some some good quality compost, manure, and um, maybe some worm castings. Actually, um, so a really good deal for a large load 
and then I'm going to put I'm still going to put the wood chips on the top and I'm going to continue to top it up with wood chips but at least I'll be planting in a, a much better medium than this claggy clay so well, since I've been away uh, my brother Tony has put in the uh, runner beans on that side on this side should I say and on this side we've got uh, the climbing blotty beans now peas I've uncovered them ah, not doing well at all we've got some more uh, going in um, in little cells we'll bring them out and we'll plant them strawberries now then look at these they're absolutely fantastic I'm going to be picking some before I go today there's loads of them in there and as I said before, these are these are first year plants. Parsnips, the ones that have come up, are doing reasonably well. Um, we've planted some more seed in the gaps. Hey, do you remember these um, beetroots that looked so sad? Look at them now. Once they got over their uh, transplant shock and with all of the uh, wet weather we've had, they're doing rather well. Out the front here, we've got some lettuce, they're doing really well as well. Onions on this side, okay, not bad. Some of this garlic is, uh, is okay, but over here, some of this stuff is uh, it's absolutely bloody huge. Really doing well, very pleased with it. Swede. Okay. You remember that big clump that was there? Well, some of it's been transplanted into some of the gaps. I don't know how well that's going to do, but we're going to give it a bash. Obviously, it's going to need thinning out uh, anyway as it grows. The um, spinach is coming up okay. And the perpetual spinach it's looking lovely. Do you remember that plant, that courgette plant that uh, had been eaten away? Oh, that's it. So I saw a little growing tip in the middle and it has actually come through. The rest of these all doing okay. Um, and on this one, I actually got a little courgette. That won't be long. Summer and winter squash. Doing okay. No fruit yet. That's an empty bed. And that's the bed that's just been uh, manured. So, there you go. It's just a quick catch up. Um, well, I better get over there before Tony eats all the bloody strawberries. Catch you all soon. Thanks for watching. It's uh, Sunday the 19th now. I, I realised when I got home um, last night and uh, downloaded the uh, videos from the camera that uh, I hadn't actually taken you into the uh, brassica cage. So, come back this morning to take you in. I'll show you what's going on in here. Now, first thing you might notice is there's lots of mushrooms. I've been kicking them over. But... Yeah, there is rather a lot. Okay, so, in the middle row is the uh, cabbages and the outside rows are cauliflowers. Um, all seem to be doing okay. The uh, original leaves are kind of a bit sort of ready purple, but uh, the new growth is a lovely lush green. So I think they'll be fine. Now this corner is much smaller than everywhere else. Now one thing 
about my plot is that uh, this area, this the sort of bottom corner of the plot, is um, without doubt the wettest part. So I think they may be suffering a bit. Um, of course, you know, apart from the amount of rain that we've had, these wood chips soak and hold the water. So I would imagine it's not draining away particularly well. And then if we come around this side, now these beauties. Brussels sprouts. I'm not saying they're Brussels sprouts on the uh, stalks, but they look like it to me. Doing very nice. Um, I do have a slight problem with my purple Brussels sprouts. Look at this. Aphids covered in them. I've uh, just sprayed some um, bug clear on them, but you can see, you know, leaves are, are curling and uh, full of aphids. I think I've seen that on my brassicas before. But we'll keep spraying them. And uh, I hope they'll be okay. Anyway, that's the brassica cage.